Okay. So now let's proceed. Right? Yes. So we are still looking at 2022 paper 2 external. Now this question is on materials and energy. Materials and energy. Okay. Specifically on a subtopic called composition of matter. Composition of matter. Now it's never getting more. Composition of what? Matter. Okay? So we are looking at materials and energy. Now specifically we are looking at our composition of what? Matter. Okay? So now, say the diagram below shows uh, the basic structure of two different uh, what? Two different structures, right? Okay? So I've got substance uh, N and substance what? O. Okay? So I have this substance then, uh, which is the uh, substance what N and substance what O. Okay? Then question A says uh, state the name of the structure found in the shell. State the name of the structure found in the what? In the in the shell. So in each of these substances, which is our substance A and substance Z, O, we have a shell. Okay? So maybe first let us, let us identify the two uh, substances. So what is A? A this one is an atom. Okay? Then this is what I mean, an atom. And you know how an atom looks. Maybe this one looks complicated. Let me just come up with a sketch of an atom. So an atom looks something like this. It's a simple atom. A number of you are used to this one. Where well, this one is an electron. Then we have the nucleus, which is the central part of an atom. Then you have got a proton, neutron, proton, a neutron, then you have got a shell, okay? So this is our shell, take note. This is our shell. Then this is our nucleus, nucleus. Then this is our proton, proton which is a positive recharged particle of an atom. Then you have got uh, this, uh, this one is a neutron, this one is a neutron. Then you have got uh, an electron. We have an electro, electron. So these are the major parts of an atom. So this is an atom, okay? This is what an atom, okay? So I've got the outer, outer part of an atom, which is uh, the shell. Then the central part of an atom, which is uh, the nucleus. Now in the nucleus, the nucleus consists of two particles. We have got uh, a positive charged particle, which is what D, the proton. Then a neutral charged D. But what is a neutron, and you have got a negative charge, but what is what? An electron, which is found in the shell. So if you have been asked the question to say, name the particle of an atom which is found in the shell, the answer is what? An electron. Then if you have been asked to say, mention two uh, substances or two, uh, what? Two particles which are found in the nucleus, in the central part of an atom, it's the proton and the what? Neutron. Are we together? Let us now proceed. Okay, so question A it says, uh, state the name of the sub the structure found in the shell. So the structure which is found in the shell, this one is called the what? The electron. Are we together? The electron. So the answer for the first question, which is question A, which is say, state the name of the structure found in the shell. The answer is uh, the electron. Are we together? The answer is the electron. So solutions or answers. Question A. The particle which is found in the shell is called what? An electron. So you can just say electron. Electron. Then question B. Question B it say, uh, in the structure of the substance, okay, which is substance A and substance what? O. Okay? Name the contents of the nucleus. So when they say name the contents of the nucleus, they say uh, mention uh, the particles which are found in the nucleus. The two particles which are found in the nucleus are what? Proton and what? Neutron. Okay? So you just say one. You say proton. Uh, two. You say neutron. These are the two substances or structures which are found in the what? 
in the nucleus, which is the central part of what? An atom. Okay? What name is given to the central part of an atom? The answer is what? The, the nucleus. We shine two particles which are found in the central part of an atom. We are talking about proton and what? Neutron. Are we together? Then we can look at C. Explain uh, the difference between substance N and substance O. The difference between substance N and substance what? O. Are we together? Now, sub first and foremost, we need to identify substance what? N. Then we identify substance what? O. So substance N, this one. This one is an atom. Are we together? So I'm saying a uh, substance. Substance what? Substance N. This is what? An atom. Then more substance, substance O. Substance O, this is what? This is the molecule. This is the what? The molecule. Substance O, this is the what? The molecule. So A, this is uh, an atom. Then substance O, this is what? The molecule. Now we know what an atom is. So we are saying an atom, it's the best building block of matter. Or you can say an atom is the smallest unit of an element. Are we together? An <coughs> atom is the basic building block of what? Matter. Or you can say an atom is the smallest unit of what? An element. Then what is a molecule? A molecule is the combination of two or more atoms. The combination of two or more at atoms. Like in our case, look at this question. We are saying A, this is an atom. Why? Okay? Then O is a molecule. Why are we saying so? Because this atom and this atom, they have been what combined right, to form what to go a more molecule. So in this case, two atoms are combined to form a what? A molecule. A molecule is a combination of two or more atoms. No wonder we're saying substance O, it's what? It is a molecule. Because it's made up of uh, two atoms. A combination of two what? Two atoms. Are we together? Let us now uh, proceed. Question C. It's saying explain the difference between substance N and substance O. So you can say, question C. Substance Substance what? Mm. Substance N. Inside the bracket you can say atom <coughs> is the basic basic building a uh, building block. Basic building block of matter. Wow. Well, substance. Substance what? O. Now substance O is saying it's a molecule. Right? Yes. So it's a molecule. Molecule is the combination. The combination of two or more what? More atoms. Are we together? So that is our question C. Then question D is saying, what name is given to matter that is made up of one, only the one kind of substance? Okay? This is an element. Aye. What is an element? An element is a substance made up of one kind of atom. That is an element, right? An element, an element, it is a substance made up of one kind of atom. Okay, an element is a substance, uh, is a substance made up of one kind of what atom. And examples of elements we have got what? We have got sodium, and you're supposed to know the, the what? The chemical symbols for this, right? Yeah. So the chemical symbol of sodium is what? Uh, capital letter N, small letter A. Then you have got uh, chlorine, all these are elements, which is capital letter C, small letter L. Then uh, we have got magnesium, magnesium, which is uh, M, G. We have mercury, mercury, which is uh, H, G. We have copper, which is uh, CU. We have potassium, 
potassium, which is a uh, K. Uh, we have hydrogen, hydrogen, which is H. We have lead, which is what? P, B. We have zinc, which is uh, Z, and we have manganese, which is M, M, N. Okay? We have nitrogen, uh, which is what? N. We have oxygen, oxygen, which is what? O. Then we have carbon, which is C. We have uh, calcium, which is C, A. Are we together? Now, let's proceed. So, we say, uh, they are saying, what name is given to matter that is made up of only the one kind of substance? So, this substance they're talking about atomine. Okay? So that is an element. An element is a, a substance made up of one kind of atom. So the answer is what? Element. Element. Are we together? Yes. Then let us look at question E. It says, what is formed when hydrogen can be combined with oxygen? What is formed when hydrogen can be combined with what? Oxygen. So they, they want us to identify a compound which is formed when hydrogen can be combined with what? Oxygen. We know what a compound is. Right? We said a compound is a substance made up of two or more atoms of different elements can be combined. That's what? That's a compound. A substance made up of two or more atoms of different elements can be combined. Now the question is saying, what is formed when hydrogen chemically combined with oxygen? So they want us to identify now a compound which is uh, formed by these two elements, hydrogen and what? Oxygen. Are we together? So that is what? Water. I will mention I write water. So the answer is what? Water. And you know water is chemically written as what? H, H2O. Okay? So you are supposed to mean to know the number of atoms which are in water. Okay, I remember 2017 what they did was they brought uh, two molecules, they brought carbon dioxide, they also brought hydrogen gas. Then the question was to identify the number of atoms, okay, from each of these. So carbon dioxide has how many atoms? It has three atoms. Three atoms. Okay, one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. So one plus two get what? Three atoms. Then this hydrogen gas has how many? In this case, has two what? Two atoms. Are we together, guys? Okay, if I write something like uh, H2O2, this is what? Hydrogen peroxide. Aye. Hydrogen peroxide has how many atoms? It has four atoms. Two atoms of hydrogen and two atoms of what? Oxygen. Oxygen. So this one becomes what? Four atoms. Are we together? No wonder we are saying uh, the, all these are what? All these are compounds. Remember, a compound is what a substance made up of two or more atoms. So, in our case, like uh, carbon dioxide is a compound, it's made up of how many atoms? Three atoms. Of different elements. Which elements? You have got carbon and oxygen. These are different elements, right? They are combined. So, they are combined to form one, right? So, our answer for this one is what? It's C. It's water. Are we together, guys? Yes. She progress. We don't begin. Yes. I want me to know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it.